Annette Adkins, a 60-year-old woman from Portland, Oregon, has spent the last decade terrified a seizure could come at any moment. Some days, you know, when you're having seizures so often, you just... It's just hard to know how is my life going to go. In 2014, Annette was diagnosed with epilepsy, but despite taking four different medications, was still having 14 seizures a month. Globally, 50 million people struggle with seizures, and about a third of them are like Annette. Medications just don't work. It can be really devastating. You know, I have patients who had to quit their jobs um, because they lost their driver's license. Like, I have patients with young children who can't feel comfortable taking care of their own young children alone. But now, doctors are testing a first-of-its-kind therapy using stem cells. This therapy offers us the potential to essentially restore that balance of, of excitation and inhibition in that part of the brain to be able to calm or ideally stop the seizures. And currently, we don't have a therapy that allows us to do that. Here's how it works. Seizures can happen when certain parts of the brain get too excited and start firing uncontrollably. So the cells work to calm the brain down by producing GABA, a neurotransmitter that restores balance in the brain. There is a lot of excitatory activity that's causing spontaneous seizures. I got a chance to see the procedure firsthand when I went into the operating room at the University of California, San Diego, and watched a third patient ever to have this done. Early data presented shows promising results, a 90% reduction in seizures in the first two patients treated so far. People think of seizures like, oh, you know, it's one to two minutes of a seizure two to three times a month. It's like, what, six, seven, eight minutes out of your life in a month? But the people spend 99% of their time trying to avoid those six, seven, eight minutes. And that really impacts their quality of life. The company plans to study whether the therapy can also treat other brain conditions, like Alzheimer's. I think these patients are incredibly brave to be a part of a trial, you know, where we don't know for sure what the end result is. Since Annette underwent the procedure last October, she's had just one seizure since and says she finally has her life back. We're going to be capable of doing the things in life that we haven't really been confident to do over the last, you know, since 2014. And NBC medical fellow Dr. Akshay Sayal joins us now. So, Dr. Sayal, how, how exactly does this work? Hey, Gaddy. So to, to understand how this works, it's, I mean, it's really incredible. And, and when you have patients with seizures, what happens is a part of the brain, typically the temporal lobe, or really the, the side of your brain here you can see on your screen, becomes, becomes too active and it starts firing uncontrollably, really not in sync with the rest of your brain, Gaddy. I mean, so what this treatment does is you take this, these cells that are derived from stem cells and you put them into that part of the brain and they produce GABA, which is it's essentially a, a, a neurotransmitter that tells your, per, your brain or that part of the brain to calm down and to not keep firing. I mean, what they've seen, God, is by putting these stem cells and it's, they're up to five patients now so far, um, seem to have a reduction in seizures by those stem cells or those cells derived from stem cells really telling the brain to just calm down and not keep firing uncontrollably. Are there are there any side effects so far? You know, I think to me the biggest uh, downside or the biggest side effect to this really seems to be that in order to have this done, you do have to take medications that suppress your immune system. Um, it's not unheard of in, in stem cell trials for this to be the case, Scotty, and it's not something that we think may necessarily be permanent. Um, it, it may just be an abundance of caution, but that is something when doctors are deciding to, to put patients on this is, yeah, you have to, you have to bring that up. Um, but I think it's worth noting that Annette, that patient you heard from in the story there, Gotti, 14 seizures a month. I mean, she couldn't even so much as drive a car, go grocery shopping, things you and I take for granted. I um, mean, the fact that she was, you know, willing to do this experimental treatment, Gotti, I think shows you just how desperate these patients are. Yeah, grocery shopping, I mean, even driving, all those things that, that we take for granted, this is very, very promising. Dr. Akshay Sayal, thank you so much for joining us. Anytime. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.